So it turns out that the people who say it happens when you least expect it uh, would be correct. <coughs> I come to you today with my tail tucked between my legs. Really? What's going on? I don't even know what we're filming. <laughs> it's like, what did you do? Well, you see, the thing is, on February 14th, Oh yeah. I proudly announced how happily single I was. I can find myself flowers, write my name in the sand. I can take myself dancing. Oh, I can love me better than and that I had 0.000% interest in dating. I have not had a singular desire. Not one ounce, not one moment, not one day in this time of being single have I been like, you know what? I think I'd like to start dating again. Hasn't happened. And that week, I met my now boyfriend. So. Wow, God is funny. He has a real sense of humor. <laughs> Quite literally, days after releasing this video right here, I met my boyfriend. And of course, because I was so passionately happy about being single. And I've been trying to figure out why is it that I am so content being single? Uh, when he asked me out, I said, we could be friends. To which he said, okay. So we went for coffee on what I now call our first date, but would have then told you was grabbing coffee with a potential new friend. I got halfway through and I was like, shoot, this isn't, this isn't good. He's lovely. I find it really interesting because, you know, a handful of people in my life have met him, obviously, including my editor, Robin, my mom, one of my best friends, Casey, my dad, and the words, oh, my friend B, and the words that everybody uses to describe him are the exact same three words that I used after our first date, which was easy, comfortable, and natural. Those are like the three things when you meet him, you're like, wow, this is so easy. This is so, he's so comfortable to be around. Everything just feels so natural. Nothing feels forced. And now he and I both look back so happy that we did not go into that coffee with the intention of a date, with the intention of romance, because I think that contributed to why it, it's worked for us because we just took it really, really slow. We built everything off the base of, of friendship. That was the foundation of our now relationship. And we, we didn't analyze the entire first first time we hung out. We weren't like, is there a spark? Do I feel chemistry? Is there a vibe? Could this be romantic? Like we weren't sitting there calculating in our heads the way you can sometimes get in your head on a first date. We talked about things we maybe wouldn't have talked about on a first date because you're in your head about like, oh, should I say that? If I talk about that, is that weird to talk about on a first date? Maybe I shouldn't bring that up. Well, they think I'm like, you You just get so in your head sometimes. Maybe not you, maybe not everybody, but a lot of us get in our heads when we go on dates with the expectation of trying to find a partner. For example, for our second date, I was like, hey, you should come to my editor Robin's party with me because Robin had told me to bring a plus one to her birthday party and all my other friends were busy. Now, if this had been romantic, never would I have ever been like, oh, for our second date, I should invite him to meet my friends. Like that would be so fast and so aggressive and so weird to do that. So I would have never done that. But because in my head, I was like, we're just building a friendship. I was like, yeah, any, any new friend I would invite to go meet other friends that I thought they'd get along with. And guess what? He got along with them swimmingly. But by halfway through that date, when all of Robin's friends were like, oh my God, we love him. He's amazing. He's adorable. He's so sweet. He's so kind. He's so wonderful. You should date. I was like, guys, we're trying not to date right now. We're trying not to date. I'm trying not to date him. And by the end of the night, I was like, nah, we're dating. <laughs> I'm gonna date him. So by the end of our second friendship hang, we like sat outside by a fire and we were like, so we're not friends, right? This like isn't a friendship vibe. Yeah, we're on the same page about that. And so we just talked about it and we decided that we would try dating and taking it extremely slow because that's what both of us wanted and that's what suited both of us. We saw each other six times in person before I went back to BC 
and we basically had like two dates a week. So it was three weeks and then I was off to BC and spent six weeks just having phone dates, watching documentaries together over the phone and eating dinner and talking and laughing a lot and bonding and it was just very clear by the end of that six weeks that this was going to be my boyfriend. But we waited to like be in person. He came, he picked my mom and I up at the airport. It was very sweet. From then on, we were official. Though, like nothing changed. We've acted the exact same the entire time. So it was really just like semantics. But yes, now we are official and have been official for uh, a while. So uh, at that time I flipped my clotter ring. Props to anybody who was Irish enough to notice. Everybody who has met him is like, uh, no offense to my exes, but he's the fam fave. He yeah. is the fam fave. Everybody adores him. And I don't know what the future holds. I don't know, but uh, I feel like a fraud not telling you, especially because we've met so many of you in person. Like so many of you have come up to me to say hi, which I love by the way. Always come up and say hi, hug me, take a photo, ask questions, have a conversation whatever you want, but I'm always excited when I get to meet you guys, but so many of you have come up to me while I'm like holding his hand, and I'm like, I look like a fraud, because I just put up that video a few months back declaring my happy single status. Ultimately, I just don't feel like I'm missing anything. I feel so complete, and that is the best feeling that I wish I could gift everyone with. And now here we are. Um, so I just wanna let you guys know if you ever see me in person and I'm holding the guy's hand, that is my boyfriend. If you ever hear a guy's voice in the background of a video or something, that might be him. You won't be meeting him for a long while um, just because, yeah, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> He's remaining my little mystery man, my little secret, unless you are lucky enough to spot him in real life. When I started telling my friends that I was seeing somebody, they were all like, oh my God, this is hilarious because your conviction was so real, like how genuinely happy you were being single was so real, like none of that was put on. You were so happily single and I said the best part about that is that I knew I wasn't going to get into a relationship simply to have somebody. I didn't feel like I needed somebody. I didn't feel like there was even space to let somebody in in that way. And so I knew that I was only going to enter a relationship with this person if they really added value to my life. They, it really felt like something something special and not something that was going to like drain me or take away from my life, but was actually just gonna like bring more joy and beauty to it. And that meant that I wasn't going to accept less than I deserve. And I wasn't going to run past the red flags if they arose. And I'm really happy about that. And that's definitely something I wish more people could experience, like getting to a place in their life where you truly feel so whole and happy and independent and confident on your own. And this feeling of like, I could go the rest of my life on my own and I'm gonna be good and it's gonna be great. And that's, that's really where I was at when we met. And so I didn't rush into something just to have somebody. I took my time and I, I made sure that it was all green flags and that, you know, it, it really was something that was going to be good for me for the right reasons. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. It's good. This was a very good thing to happen in my life. It was like the most magical unexpected thing and I simply adore him and I can say he's my best friend and we laugh a lot, which is something I really appreciate. And he is goofy like me and appreciates that I am silly and goofy and I just feel like I can so fully be myself around him. He makes me feel very safe and comfortable and good in my own skin. Elton, do you want to come? Tell everybody what you think. He got up. Sometimes yeah. he got up, but he got up. Do you want to tell everybody about how you feel? Well, he says, but because we're talking about my my boyfriend, and I love him. So the first um, few dates that I went on, I could tell he was jealous. This was the first. He just whacked me like, no, I saw him better than me. Um, this was the first person he'd obviously ever seen me date, ever seen me hug, ever seen me kiss, because I've been happily single since I got Elton, and well before then. And so I could tell on the first few dates he was definitely jealous of the attention that my boyfriend was getting. But now, he thinks he's his boyfriend. I call my boyfriend a golden retriever boyfriend. The girls who get it, get it. He is truly like my golden retriever and the most golden retriever energy ever happened when I told him he's my golden retriever. He was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> Because I'm I'm loyal and I'm friendly and if you if you if you throw something I'll retrieve it for you. And I was like, 
That was the most golden retriever response. Uh, his joy of being called a golden retriever exemplified how he is a golden retriever. Also, he did grow up with a dog named Molly. Classic. I, him and Elton are like obsessed with each other. It's so cute. I said yesterday, I was like, I feel like you're dating me for Elton really at this point. And he was like, 10%. 10% you, 90% Elton. <laughs> but yeah, they're best friends. Elton just simply freaking adores him. And it's so cute. My mom, like he spent a weekend with my family and I, and at the end of the weekend when he went home, uh, the next day my mom was like, I miss him. When are we, when is he coming to see, when are we seeing him again? And then when he comes to visit, my mom will be like, He's coming to visit us! Like, my family just adores him, which I love. And he's really close with his family. His sister is like one of his best friends, which green flags, like so many green flags. His family is so sweet and supportive of him dating me. Like when he told his family, his mom went and added alt text to all the images on her website. And his dad started thinking about how he could code a video game to be accessible to me. And like all of these just really sweet things where I've never had like a partner's family be so, so unbelievably supportive and happy for their son to be with a blind person. And it just is so sweet and I'm so appreciative. And all of his friends are so wonderful. Like they're just all such great people. And he really has this wonderful support system in his life. And it's funny because I tell him all the time how he's so different from other people I've dated. And he's like, I don't get it. Like lots of guys are like me. And I'm like, you think that because you have great guys in your life, but I can assure you they're not. And I know that because all of my girlfriends are like, how did you find such a unicorn? And I'm like, I know it was an accident. I don't know how this happened, but I'm, I'm really grateful and I'm really lucky and I'm really happy and I just wanted to share that with all of you so I don't feel like I'm keeping some like secret from you guys. I don't know how YouTubers go like years without telling their audience that they have a partner. Like I, Mia Maples, who I simply adore did that. And I'm like, fair play to you. I've tried and four months in and I'm like, okay guys, by the way, <laughs> like I can't, I can't hold it back. I just, I try to build boundaries, but the boundary I am building is that you're not gonna meet him for a while. And that feels good for me and for him. That's basically it. I'm in love and I'm happy and it's going really well and everybody in my life adores him. So I hope that you can trust them and take their word for it. Uh, Robin, feel free to vouch for him if you'd like. Okay, I'm literally editing this video right now and I stopped when I got to this point to make this little clip because I really wanted to just say that I think everything Molly said is so accurate. He was very easy to be around, easy to talk to, very comfortable and just so kind and attentive and I got nothing but good vibes from him. I'm so excited for the both of them. I think they're so cute together. It's just so sweet and genuine and pure and that's all you want out of a relationship. So I'm, ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Neve, would you like to vouch for him? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I just love the guy. <laughs> he's just so easy and nice and you just feel so comfortable to be around him. You don't feel you're in the way if he's around, you know, as a mother or I don't know. He's just just a so doll. easy, isn't he? He's a doll. He's a doll. Yeah. He's, and he's so helpful. He's a gem. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Yeah, he's it, the most he's helpful. He's really like an angel. Yeah. yeah. I've only ever had one partner in my life who truly made me feel like not only was my blindness not a negative thing about me, but it, it actually just makes me more wonderful and more beautiful and more interesting and more special. And um, he does that for me. That's a really amazing feeling. And like just last night, he was like, please tell me, have I ever done anything ableist towards you? Like, have I ever done anything that's made you? And I was like, okay, pff. The fact that you're even asking means no, but like the opposite. He he doesn't ever make me feel like if there's times that I need him to help me with something that that's a burden on him. He makes me feel like he is so happy to do that because it makes him feel, feel good in his own self. And like, that's just the best. Like to have a partner who, who makes me feel like no part of me is bad. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel very lucky and I wish everybody could find a partner that makes them feel the way he makes me feel. Because I only ever had that once in my life, uh, in my early 20s, and I never thought I would find a partner who made me feel those things again. And he makes me feel all of that and even more. I know I'm being super vague. I'm not telling you like how we met or what he does or even what his name is. Uh, but you know, I'm keeping it vague for a reason. And that is, like I said, the kind of boundary I am trying to, to trying to create for myself, for my own well-being. Um, but also for those wondering, our horoscopes are extremely 
compatible. He is a Libra and I'm an Aquarius, so we're extremely compatible. We also looked at our moons, like how the moons of our birth charts fit together and they complete the moon. They make a full moon. If you know, you know. I saw a psychic early on in our, like when we started dating and I was like planning to not bring him up at all because I was just like, I have enough other things to ask about. She just immediately knew and she just talked all about him the whole time and um, said all these wonderful things about us. So that was great. Oh, for our like first official date, which now we just call our third date, but it was our first actual official date when we decided we weren't just gonna pretend we were friends. He brought me to a light show because he knew that I could see lights. So he planned this big like thing to drive like an hour away to this light show so I could go see the lights. Like just, I don't know, all these like really wonderful, sweet, kind things that he does that I appreciate so much. That's it, that's all I'm gonna share. I'll stop being mushy and gushy now. Um, but I will say, apparently, the psychic shared that our souls were in love in a previous life, but they couldn't be together, and now's our life to be together, so love that for us. And until next time, you can click over here if you want to hear about how happily single I was, and then think about the fact that three days later we met, or you can click over here to see another one of my videos that I posted recently where I learned how to surf or something like that. I don't know. Okay, I love you. Bye. And again, I'm not saying that I'm never going to be in a relationship again, or I'm never going to want to be in a relationship again. There might be somebody who walks into my life and I'm like, woo, sweep me off my feet. You know what? I am open to it. Screw it.